Hi everybody, welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five. I'm Jen and we have a great roundup for you this week. At number five, using Blender to prepare for orthopedic surgeries. From the Blender conference this year, Vaisley Shishkin shares in this interview with Jason Van Gumpster why and how he uses Blender and 3D printing to help prepare for orthopedic surgeries. At number four, practical guide for avoiding burnout and living a happier life. In the holiday spirit of giving, Jono Bacon shares some of his, as he calls them, quite ridiculous life choices from his early years that illustrate important ways for us all to keep healthy in mind, body, and spirit. At number three, 10 helpful tools for a sysadmins toolbox. Ben Cotton writes that sysadmins, no matter what perform, platforms they work on, are awash in great open source software tools. In this article, he highlights well-known and some not so well-known tools that have released new versions in 2015. At number two, dear parents, let your kids use open source software. A 16-year-old boy recently asked the R Linux community on Reddit for advice when his parents were horrified that he'd reloaded his laptop with Linux. With the help of information and advice from the Reddit community, that young man talked to his parents again and helped set most of their concerns to rest, writes Jim Salter, who writes this follow-up article in an open letter for other parents out there who have discovered their children are using free and open source software, but they aren't sure what it is or whether using it is a good idea. And finally, at number one this week, Top 10 Open Source Projects of 2015. Every year, we take a look back at 10 of the most favorited open source projects, and you can also check out last year's list to compare to this year's. And before we go, we have an honorable mention. The honorable mention article is SSH Into Your Christmas Tree with Raspberry Pi. Earlier this year, Anderson Silva wrote an article about how to use the Raspberry Pi to create a music light show using an open source project called Light Show Pi. For this holiday season, Anderson decided to take on the mighty Christmas tree with his light show. You can see how he did it in this article. And from opensource.com, we wish you a very happy holiday and a great new year. See ya.